Number 18. Yep. Uh, staying in that state, we're going Derek Carr, number 18. Derek Carr, uh, again, a really fine football player. I mean, hey, back in 2016, this is a guy that was in the conversation for MVP. I'm not so sure he might not win MVP that year if he doesn't break his leg. It's going to be that close. How, how high would you have had him then? That, that oh. Because, I mean, the yeah. 2015 season as well, I think if you add those two together, his touchdown interception was better oh, he was than 3-1. Like, to one. They no were winning doubt. way more than losing. Right, and he was and he was winning games. Yeah. Like the 2016 right. season, you go back and look, and it, I don't know what it was, six fourth quarter comeback wins, something like that. Yeah, during that time period, he was top 10-ish for yeah, me. He was 14 last year after right. an average an season. An average season. And I, you know, there, I was still giving the benefit of the doubt of some of those years. But hey, the last two years have not been great. And mm -hmm. I understand it's not all on Derek Carr. And last year, it's hard to get an evaluation on him a little bit because the team around him was that crappy. But you have to evaluate him somehow. And the wins are way down. The wins are way down. And his individual numbers are way down, too. They are way down, too. Exactly right. And I think that's where... I kind of went back with it, and I listen, I try to take into account the whole team along with it and everything, but I think at the end of the day, it goes back to like kind of what you're saying, and I'm not always going to just judge you on the wins and the stats, but the last two years, there's been less moments of Derek Carr taking over the game, like I just explained with Jared Goff, you know, a guy who in the 2015-2016 season Man, there'd be a handful of plays every game where I'd go, ooh, what a throw. Mm -hmm. Man, nice job moving the pocket and kind of threw that sidearm. Whoa, like that was awesome. Whoa, great touch on that throw. All of that stuff. So I was, I was saying that much more. Now, the last few years, I know that the team and the offense has all been a little dysfunctional. But Derek Carr's been dysfunctional along with it. He's missed, you know, some moments of where I want to go, man, you're Derek Carr. you got to make that throw and, and complete that all day long. There's also been too many moments of, yes, just not enough big game-changing type plays. I think Derek Carr got a little, uh, and this is something I clamored about last year, tried to be a little too perfect maybe for the last two years to me where he lost some of his aggressiveness and his playmaking Checks ability. Checks down a lot. A little too many checkdowns, yeah. a little too many throws of, you know, ooh, I'm just going to try to place it over there and let the receiver catch it, you know, and we'll move the sticks where I feel like two or three years ago he would have came out and been like, oh, he's open, I'm going to rifle it in there, and now the guy caught it and he had room to run after the catch or whatever it may be. You know, yeah, I think he's played very conservative that way, and I think he has – he lost some aggressiveness in his arm. And I showed today on PFT a few throws where I went, like, this is the Derek Carr I want to see. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of throws this year, the year before that, where I just said, man, this should be a 40-yard gain, but he threw the changeup when he should have thrown the fastball, and it got knocked down, and mm -hmm. it was incomplete. Yeah. Or the guy had a slide to get it. And it should have been a 50-yard gain. It was a 20-yard gain. Because he was being safe. He was being safe, trying to be too careful, too accurate. A lot of times, that's that's confidence. I, I don't know I him think, well enough. I think to, you're right, though. To pin that on him, but I a lot of times so it is. You're right. It is because you're going, yeah. Oh, this is big, and we're not good. And I've been sacked a lot. And damn, we haven't got our first down in two drives. Let me just get the first down and mm -hmm. throw it out there so he catches it. Where yes, if you're confident, you're just going, man, we're rolling, we're good. Right. I'm just gonna right bullet in there. Bam, he caught it, and then he runs after the catch and. Yeah, you, you forget those type of things that when you got the momentum and all that. So those are my issues with Derek Carr. But, hey, good athlete, throws it on the run. He's not like an athlete where I look at him and go, oh, he's going to scramble a lot. No, he's a good athlete. Like, he's got great movement in the pocket. He's got a real tight, good motion throwing the football. He throws pretty spirals. And he is always looking to throw, I mean, at all times. And that's what I respect about him. But, yeah, I think even some game management situations last year, you know, I can go back to the Rams game in week one, the Dolphins game in week three, where, you know, the Dolphins game, I can remember, it's, I think, a first and goal from the eight or nine yard line. He throws a jump ball up to the mm -hmm. left sideline. He's getting intercepted. You know, they end up losing right. that game where I would just go, you don't need to take that chance there. It's first down. Yeah. Like, just throw it away and see what else happens. He did that in that Rams game. There's a few other games to go along with it. But uh, either way, that's where I have Derek Carr 18. Yeah. Derek Carr is one of those guys, though. Yeah, he could be a riser in a hurry. I mean, he has talent to be in that top 10 conversation. But does he have a team around him that's going to allow him to be, yeah. we're talking about this next year, I think he 13, does. 12, 11? I think, think so? he does. Yeah, I do. I think the improvements they made on the offensive line, 
you know, Josh Jacobs at running back. Okay, yeah, they lost Jared Cook, but uh, you get Tyrell Williams from the Chargers. You get Antonio Brown. You know, they get Trent Brown at right tackle now to go with Colton Miller, their first-round pick at a left tackle last year. You know, uh, I think there's – I would be shocked if that offense isn't better and his numbers aren't better and we don't see more explosive plays – uh, just because of the talent around him. So you, you point out some real reasons why you dropped him from 14 to 18. Let's look ahead. You talked a little bit about how much it sounds like you, you like what they're doing there. Yeah. Arrow up or, or arrow down for Derek Carr? I think that I think it's arrow up. I do. More I, likely that he goes in the right direction. I, I do. I really do. I think, you know, being around Gruden for one year is going to help him and calm his nerves a little bit. <laughs> He's like, okay, I know what it's psycho to expect on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Of course, knowing the offense. And Hey, you know, again, we, 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 we talk about Eli Manning's lack of protection. You know, I just want to go like, man, if Eli had to play in Oakland last year, uh, or, yeah. you know, Oakland's pass protection was absolutely pitiful last year, let alone, hey, he has been banged up the last two years too. And I, I, I try to take all of this into account. Like I said, it's not easy. But, yeah, I would expect this to be a huge year for him. And, and if it's not. You know, I do wonder what happens. He's still around. I, I do. You know, I, I do. I don't know if that's necessarily right to say that or if it's exactly the right time to pull the trigger on that. But I know the guy that's coaching well, him there. And if they don't win and he doesn't play well, yeah. he can get very antsy with that position. I think you can look at two things and, and point to that outcome. If it's another losing season and he's average or, or takes another step back, even if the team around him isn't better. The head of, coach wasn't there when right. they took him. The GM wasn't there when they took him. No, I know. So. But I know. You're right. That's always scary. Now, the offensive coordinator, Greg Olson, yeah. was there when they drafted him as the quarterback coach. And Olson's very close to Gruden. And I really feel like Gruden would have only taken that job if, <sighs> if he felt like, ooh, I think this guy – has a chance to be something. But, mm -hmm. you know, this, this to me, it, I think, speaks a lot to what it is. And I, I didn't even really think about this and didn't plan to say this. But, you know, the Raiders, hey, they moved the ball a lot last year. That, that was not a problem. I what mean, are you looking at? To, well, to I was, was going to look at just so, some stats, but I can't even figure out where the hell I am. Uh, I wanted to look at just to see where their pass game stats were totally exactly. But, you know, I, I don't care about stats necessarily. You know, okay, 18th passing team in football. The numbers, are, I just want to see, okay, you're at the 15-yard line. That's quarterback time. Mm -hmm. It's time to, let's score seven. Let's not settle for three. Right. You got to make a big throw or buy time in the pocket. And, make, and I think yeah. those are the little things I've missed from Derek Carr as compared to maybe the 2016-2015 season. I think his yards per attempt, and I don't know if you can find that, but to me, yards per attempt would say more than passing offense because these teams that get behind by a lot, they can have a lot of empty yards. No doubt. Um, so, uh, yeah, you start at 6.2. At it's low. It's very low. It's in the middle of the league, basically. It's at 18, actually, okay. right there. Yeah, but I think there's there's something to that. You're right because you, you got – sometimes the stats look like that, yeah, because you're down by 20 in the fourth quarter and you keep throwing check downs mm -hmm. and things like that. And okay, your bottom line stats look good when it's all said and done, but you really made no right. plays within the competitive nature of the game to do that. Uh, but either way, that's 18. That's Derek Carr. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.